Hi, this is Chris. I agreed to take up the mantle of Novice GM for a chance to introduce most of our crew to my favorite tabletop RPG, Battlelords of the 23rd Century. Our players will be running a mission from the Charlie Foxtrot Adventure Compendium for the 7th edition of Battlelords of the 23rd Century. This mission finds our assemblage of Battlelord wannabes getting hired on and sent to a luxury space resort experiencing an unknown infestation. So, thank you for joining us as I take our players through a tiny corner of this gigantic universe. Welcome to Last Resort at the Space Resort. We hope you enjoy the adventure, and I hope I can do it justice. Hello, and welcome to the Advanced Age Role-Playing Gamers Podcast. I am Nathan. I am your co-host tonight. We are running Battlelords of the 23rd Century, the 7th edition, or the Kickstarter edition. And uh, Chris, our, our lovely uh, Lego person, is our, is our GM for this. Say hi, Chris. Hello. So why don't you take it off? Take it off. Why don't you take it hey, off? Hey, whoa, hey, it's not that kind of show. <laughs> well, hey, uh, you got to take uh, that content. It, it, That's it, it, for subscribers for, only. It, it is kind of that show. <laughs> it is. So please visit my Patreon. Desperate. Uh, <laughs> if, if literally someone bought you a coffee, we'd, we'd uh, take it off. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that's uh, what we actually, need, like the actually thing, what you like don't know dings, is I'm, compl- right? I'm completely like, oh, nude oh, under this red plastic. Oh, the chafing. I must say that fine yellow hard skin of yours is very chicken-like. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> Dude, I was thinking <laughs> jaundice but okay. <laughs> that too, that too. Uh, all right, so Chris, I'll, I'll let you... Uh, Uh, Take the lead from here. Great, thanks. I'm going to uh, immediately go into the introductions for everybody. Sadly, tonight we are sans Mr. Anthony Cupo, our Chetillion, um, due to unforeseen circumstances. uh, His wife. Um, (laughs) (laughs) That's a good good enough. So in that case, let's go around the table and start with uh, Matt, our resident Fott. Hey guys, my name is Matt, and I'm playing Bubba Fott, and right now I'm kind of laying on the floor doing a paint by numbers, because I had a little oopsie with my paint grenade. You know, I, I, I like to use them, but sometimes, you know, you just you sometimes just take it in the face. That That's me. <laughs> Back to our Patreon. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and Nathan. Hey, uh, I am Nathan. I'm your co-host. No, anyway, so uh, I'm playing Bagheera Karen of the... Uh, well, Mardian Karens. And, <laughs> <laughs> uh, With the can I see a manager haircut? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I'm playing a, a, a Scizorak, which is a, a giant battle kitty with a, with a, a mounted um, a goo gun and some rocket launchers. And she's super badass. And I can't do voices, so I'm not going to do a voice. Except for this voice right now, which is really pretty annoying. So I'm going to uh, stop talking. <laughs> and Tyr. Uh Hi, I'm Tyr, and I'll be playing uh, Hestuvorin, a Razat, which is a insect-like uh, alien um, who is a mechanic and repair person. And our Eridani sword saint, Malcolm. Um, this is Malcolm, and I'll be playing Baruk Idan, the sword saint of the Eridani, and uh, of the proper class, of course, and cast. Anyway. So what you're doing with these assholes, nobody knows. Uh, It's called slumming. (laughs) (laughs) Sometimes the road to honor is covered with crap. I like the final things. I'm not into slumming. Blue goop. Thanks, (laughs) Fod. So much goop. And Sean. Hello, I'm Sean. I'm playing a human, basic human, nothing special. Hamen. Hamen, as somebody likes to say. Nothing special. But my character's name is. Templeton Tech, a.k.a. Spaceman, as is, is a gentle person of the universe, he likes to go around an adventure, and he's found himself with these fine folks with this infested space station. He will try and extradite himself from this situation, hopefully making a tidy profit, and hopefully his friends will survive, though he suspects that maybe one of them might go into rage and try and kill them, and he's running out of the goo grenades to stop them. So we shall see how, how we parlay this situation. So I'm going to divert from tradition, and rather than have one of you guys, namely Sean, do the summary of last week. Oh. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'll do it. If you want, I could, but I mean, let's not. No, I was, I'll, I'll do a recap real quick, because uh, originally two weeks ago, we ended saying, hey, we've cleared all the aliens out of this pod. Let's investigate this pod uh, next session. 
and next session uh, begins. And because this is not called Super Special Space Detectives, and it is instead <laughs> called Battle Lords, uh, you guys decide, fuck it, let's go kill some shit. <laughs> Completely deciding to uh, ruin my plans, and uh, invest- instead of investigating, you start patrolling the station where the. That's a part of investigating. <laughs> where the aliens themselves <laughs> seem to handily avoid your, your search uh, until Mr. Uh, Chitillion. Uh, Del, was it Del Santo or oh, Del Floridia decides to use his mind powers to try and map the unmarked parts of the station. Pretty cool. In, in looking, he, decide, he he can't really make out what life forms there are, but he sees two areas of life. One is down this little hallway where there's this relatively small room with a small number of uh, life forms in it, and one is up this little ramp uh, behind a doorway with this huge number of life forms in it. Again, because this isn't uh, super smart space detectives, uh, <laughs> <You're big. laughs> here we go. Make a beeline for the room with all the life forms in it. And rather than, you know, peeking in, listening at the door or something, nah, we're going to cover it in explosive goo, <laughs> knock on it really hard, then blow it open. Is where the door the, open? <laughs> where the yes. door is open. Do where, we know what's inside now? <laughs> yes. yes. <laughs> Investigation. <laughs> I'm like Fu Manchu for a second. <laughs> I so thought part- it was a brilliant plan to, <laughs> to lure them out, but they just didn't take the bait. So let's, they're idiots. Let's point out the person who initiated the plan is a cat with an intelligence of 20. Wow. <laughs> out of 100. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Wow. yeah. So that's yeah. your dump stat. Okay. And, and everybody just went along with it. So. Well, I wasn't sure which stat was con, so I couldn't dump that. <laughs> are, you, are you like one of those, one of those like the, the pet cats that has the tongue that's permanently out? <laughs> uh, I'm just glad you guys don't have laser sights on your rifles because you ne- never get anything done. Uh, <laughs> hey, hey guys, have you seen my anus? <laughs> yes, we've yeah. all yeah, seen yeah, it. Anus. Thank you. My goodness, your anus has been all over our site picture. Look Thank at you. Look at it. It. <laughs> so, after blowing open the, the door, uh, you find yourselves in the main dining room, main formal dining room of this fancy space hotel. Where, the Crystal Palace. Where, of the Crystal Palace, where all the patrons are passed out at their tables and pirates are in the midst of robbing them blind. Um, you catch them entirely off guard as well, because they expect everyone to be asleep. And this immediately turned into a giant uh, blood fest. Yeah, p- pretty much. Woo! Just for Klaus. <laughs> just, just for Klaus. Everyone else needs fight. So you have, yeah, you have uh, the robbing pirates spread out amongst the crowd. The crowd just starting to wake up. And I think, uh, I think we made it to guess them again. Yes. <laughs> Chaos we have that continues option? to ensue. Uh, you can. Beautiful. Well, we have the wrong gas now. <laughs> no, he has both canisters, and there's still some left in the, mm. uh, the knockout gas. Hmm. Fortunately, the pirates are wearing armor. That's fine. Uh, Civilians, um, we don't need them moving around. Yeah. <laughs> so it's sleep. Sleep. <laughs> to our second round of combat where we have uh, Farouk up in a This looks like an opportunity to do something completely stupid by other people's standards. But by me, it is a chance to grab honor. And I mean, no, the bar for stupid is super low. Yeah, I know. So I just like, I can do this. <laughs> it, it's, um, it's actually laying at your feet covered in green paint. <laughs> <laughs> So, um, I think I'm going to have to, because we are behind the rail on a ramp, running around the ramp will only simply just open the, just open to constant fire from a whole bunch of people through the crowd. I think I will have to do the terrible thing. What would that be, my fine friend? Let's go over the rail. I am not as uh, sturdy as you, but I might attempt this. So, um, Chris, my intent is to go over the rail and kill Klaus right in front of Marjorie. Ooh. So your move so, is definitely uh, well within the grounds to do that. I want to move here and then fast draw my plasma sword and give Klaus the peace that he so desperately seeks. The final rest, the ending of all things, the final journey and the ultimate truth. I say so, you are a Unless poet. I miss, which is completely possible. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see how this goes. Well, you're either a poet or a fool, but we'll find it. Uh, we'll see. <laughs> All right. Kill them. Kill. I mean, you basically had your short up, skill it's... and a plus 20, so, you know. Yeah, it should be a 
Murder, yeah, this death, should, kill. But... It should be pretty easy. It, it should be. I mean, I'm, <laughs> I'm going to ask a question. Um, do we want to yeah. share the screen, uh, the, the map screen uh, here, so the viewers in the YouTube channel will have it? They're not. They're not going to see it. Uh, okay. Um, That's right. But I, can, I can. I can. He can edit in post. I can edit in post. Yeah. So I move and he goes the road to kill him. Sixty-three. Then you make it handily. You just basically didn't have, to, couldn't roll a hundred. I did not. Yes. Yeah. All right. Uh, now for the cutty cutty damage for the plasma. Okay, roll your hit location first, and then the damage. The one. That's his head. <laughs> hey man, and nice shot. I I am cutting him with a plasma sword. Do not. Anyway, Listen, yes. do we really need to roll anything? We just, just eight. Just... Yes, just eight points of plasma damage. Just eight. With a structural integrity damage of eight as well. So how did you kill the... him? <laughs> it is the way that mercy always comes. <laughs> Straight down. So basically I split his humming head in two. Therefore I can hear the plasma sword sizzling in the stock of his neck. <laughs> so his agonized screaming is really mixed with the sound of the plasma sword cleaving through his uh, helmet, his head, and his vocal cords until it comes to a nice <laughs> blessed silence. There's no scream. Uh, what are you talking just, about? It's a oh, it, no, no, he, he was, he was, he was screaming, screaming the, because his yeah. stomach he was had exploded already. twice. Oh, that's, <laughs> right. yeah. that's the guy yeah. shot. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Okay. That's the guy you shot. You shot, so, and I had criticaled on his stomach yes. as well with the fucking lightning gun. So he just had so, a spine. Yeah, Chris, <laughs> um, jumping over the rail um, and moving to him, how much? How many actions is that going to cost? Um, you can move your full actions as a, as a free move. So your full distance and run. Okay, um, so yeah. Hack him in the head. I will simply say, now you have the final truth, and then there's freaking Marjorie. <laughs> Marjorie's number six, yes? Yep, that's six is Marjorie. I will close on her, and, and you do, whack a doodle her. So you do have a minus 20 to her. Okay. But that's fine. Yeah. She's going to try and dodge. Okay. I will do 43. With no, a minus two, oh, fucking dead. twenty. That will leave <laughs> me, me somewhere around sixty-five. Yeah, you're good. Okay. <laughs> so hit location D six. Yeah, a seven. Seven. Uh, wait, wait, roll a seven on a D six. Yeah. Oh, D six. Sorry, I, yeah. thought, I was thinking <laughs> D eight. Wow, two. is that good? <laughs> two. You got right two. to the brain. <laughs> two. Two. I was, wow, Malcolm's got my dice. <laughs> I rolled a D eight. I was like, sorry, <laughs> a, a two. So two is a torso. And I will do ten points of uh, ten points of damage, and eight and eight structural integrity damage. So yeah. eight points uh, gets through the armor. So let's see, one second. So you got through the armor. Uh, you did some damage to the armor, but they are still intact. You don't see any blood. It shouldn't be. The plasma were cauterized well, all the there. They seem angry, That's what I'm telling cut. myself. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's what I need to hear from me. That is what honor is expecting me to tell. <laughs> there is no blood yet, but there will be. It will sizzle on the floor and throughout the room soon enough. Okay. Do you smell steak? No. <laughs> <laughs> you, and, you smell burnt um, ab liner. Yeah. Excellent. Yes. Yeah. So, um, and then I will... That's, Two attacks, so I'll leave the Lester two for defense. Good call. Has uh, Marjorie's been tough so far? <laughs> and I'm quite certain that Bellamy, Chadwick, Randy, Sandra, and Randy may actually shoot at me. But we'll see. <laughs> Next up, we have Bubba. All right. So Bubba is going to... Uh, he sees everyone's kind of pinned down in this uh, uh, core, you know, this area... Um, he is going to hop, jump. He's got his a jump move of seven. So I think he just basically, from where he's laying face down, just crouch and jump up over the rail to where um, the Aridani had just gone. Baruch. Uh, take her. Get, getting prone is all the, all your actions, but I'll, I'm going get, getting up from prone is all your actions. But I'll go with that for cinematic effect. Oh, okay. 
You're right. moving right uh, next to me. Well, no, I'm a, yeah. He's gonna jump up and not 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 to. Yeah, you basically can move forward. That's about it. You're oh, you okay. jump. Yep. Um, and he that sees there's he three people in front of the Aradani, but there's a whole bunch to the left. So he's going to pull out a grenade. Wait, there's people at this table. What? Well, Just it, he doesn't have any explosive grenades. Um, he is going to toss basically, if I can, let me see, I'll go put a marker here. I'll insert. This is where you'd like it to go. This, you're right. This is right. We, we've like seen it. you in action. <laughs> Little target marker. That's a big target. Um, that's a big target marker. Wow, that, well, that's I'm making pretty, it smaller. That, that's so okay. he's going to try to throw a smoke grenade. How how big of a radius does the smoke grenade? Um. Hey, as long as it's not explosive, I guess we're going to be okay. Well, I guess we're going to really refer to the smoke grenade rules. Ah, uh, there we go. <laughs> But uh, the smoke grenade you would not get to throw until next round because you had to jump, you know, jump and pull it out. Okay, even with four actions. Yeah, you need yeah. fast draw. Yeah, unless unless you fast draw. Uh, okay. Yeah. But then you still just have it out. But, uh, yeah. Yep. Well, let's check the smoke grenades. Uh, I'm in the wrong window. Aren't we all? Hey. Always. <laughs> Uh, what if he had dropped it where he was? That would be on, that would yeah. be on uh, on book for his normal grenade throwing. So. <laughs> I know. I mean, it's like I've a, a, a cloud of obfuscate around me. Hey, while we're taking a break in this information, I want to remind everybody to go and like our podcast on the various platforms on which you follow: Twitter, Podchaser, Pod, uh, uh, Apple Podcasts, or um, Spotify. Thank you. Hit, and hit that subscribe yeah. button. Yeah. You know, so, that makes like green your, green. your mic sounds great. Yeah, yeah. yeah, you do sound good today. So Thank the smoke grenades, uh, four meters, and then they expand in four meters every combat round until it dissipates. Fantastic. Wait. All right. How many combat rounds? <laughs> All right. So that's my that's my round. Yes. Okay. And next up we have. Pirate 5, who's back here uh, at the back door to the bridge. Uh, oh, he wait. Actually... Pirate 5? Pirate 5, yes. All the way to the top of the screen. That's yep. Pirate 4. Oh, wait. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, that's that's Trip. Yeah, so... Trip is headed... Yeah, Trip, Trip is headed for the bridge, though. So. Yes, he actually goes off to the bridge. Oh, no. Captain Smith! <laughs> Not that I really want to save Captain Smith. I just remembered his name. So it'll be Among the Dead... And that brings us to Kupo. Uh, if no one has an objection, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll make him do something. Object! What are you doing? <laughs> uh, oh, it is, I, I can't remember how he does. Uh, I, have, I, I don't even know how he does that fucking He's voice. kind of like Snooty Professor. Oh. Delisando, Delisando, something. Del Santo, will move. He is, he is A, correct? Correct. All right. Uh, he will move um, thirty, approximately thirty feet. Uh, meters. Could he, he, whatever see, his meters. Yeah, we're using yeah. we're using we're using thirty meters. Metrics. Um. All right. Let's get him this over. Is space. Is that about? Is that about <laughs> as far as he can move? Or can so he wait, go a little bit further? Let's make sure we got his move right. Um. That's it. Uh, so is he sprinting or? No, because he wants to do an action. Because he can move up to the max of his his move in a walk in three actions or three times that to sprint. Does that use Does that use an action to do that? Uh, a sprint is a full action. Uh, but he'll in that means he'll, he'd still have one action. No, he has four actions. Yeah, it's still a sprint is. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah, he'll sprint. That's so. That's uh, three times his run, um, but uses all his actions. Oh no! I don't want to use all his actions. I, I, so I wanna... yeah, a run is a free action, so you can max the distance run in meters. All right. Well, I think I've moved him about thirty meters there. Okay. Uh, and he is going to use the illusionary decoys matrix. 
Right. Uh, uh, and the illusionary decoys, Matrix. Um, uh, targets that fail ECR are, are unable to discern uh, MC or uh, the Matrix caster from four illusionary copies. And he creates he can create them anywhere in a 20 meter radius. Illusion. And it, it lasts for 20 rounds. Okay. But, with, but with concentration. Right. Because you're the doctor. So he is going to place the the, 20, the four illusionary copies up on above him and he's going to hunker down. So they're going to be on the uh, on the dining deck? Yes. And they'll all be holding their brains like they're about to do something. And I don't I believe there's no activation roll for that. Uh, it should save. Um, I've got it here. I think he's good to go. I think he just spends illusionary decoys. No, there's no roll. Cool. He just spends two. He just spends two power points. We'll just make these slightly larger so that we know. Giant versions of himself appear. You can place them wherever you feel is appropriate. A bunch of asparagus. Okay. Yeah. He'll uh. We'll put a guy here. We'll put a guy over here. A guy over here. Uh, those look like. Uh, actually, this guy would be on this table. Of course. Dancing. Uh, <laughs> menacing. Among the unconscious. Yes. Would you. I, I, can I ask a question? Do, they, do the illusionary copies have to be of him, or can they be of one of the other party members? I would say they could make uh, do one of the other party members, but I would go with the uh, gen- the generation role just to make sure you can pull it off. Because I would rather do that of the Eridani. Uh, yeah, actually, he's going to try to do that. Like all of them, or just one? Uh, can he do? Would, would it matter? I just want to make sure with your generation roll, you can. He rolled an eighteen. Oh yeah, out Ooh. of seventy, out of seventy-two. So he makes four illusionary Eridani. Uh, I mean, jump. I mean, like me, where they have like seven yeah, they, eyes and the proper height and number of blocks. Absolutely, they're like you but bigger, <laughs> because the way he sees them, you're like they're gigantic in his eyes. So <laughs> they will still be acceptable from the box cast. Okay. Okay. Now, and then he'll these... sa- he'll save his the rest of his actions for defense. Okay, so are they all holding their heads? Or they're all gonna. No, no, no! They've all got plasma. <laughs> they've all got plasma swords. Are they bigger than mine? Never mind. Not a question. Never mind. <laughs> so it's not about size; it's how you use it. Precisely. <laughs> all right. Okay. So next up, we have parrot number seven. Pod. Big money. Big money. Seven is going to. Duck between people on this table and shoot at. Well, first let's see if he passes his ECR. You said mental ECR. Mental ECR, yep. He does not pass his mental ECR, so he's going to shoot at uh, the illusory Eridani on the table. Okay. Damn it, Todd! What do you expect from a Todd? Exactly. A stream of goo goes streaking right through him. <laughs> And uh, Wait. goes. <laughs> Wait. Whoa, 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 whoa! Yeah. So these it... are so these are these are mental illusions, not like physical like hologram projections. So would no. it just show him dodging, or would it like he just see that he missed? Well, you guys see it pass uh, right through the guy. Well, yeah. I have a question: Do we yeah. even see the illusions? Uh, it's a matter of choice of the caster, if I remember correctly. Okay. I don't think these yeah, people so, are worthy. Of so you see him shooting at empty space on the table, and so the spray see. falls. Yeah, uh, tell us. I am projecting uh, images into their minds. Do you guys see where you guys are in the rage? It's like the, <laughs> if it goes over the table, I mean that still could hit. Like you know, Esther and and uh, never mind. I'm not saying mistakes were or were not made. He can uh, he can but, only project them so far. He can't. You yeah. Know. <laughs> yeah. That so I'm going to take a moment to roll to see if he does. Uh, misses on A. Because of the cover of the fence, uh, he does not get through to either of you. Nice. However, the, the fence does get a splatter of goo on it. 
Okay. What kind of goo? As long as right now, all you can tell is it's goo. So it's not on fire. It's not, it's not on fire or anything. It's just it's just goo. Okay. That's but given what happened to you, you, it's a safe bet. It's, that it's just the adhesive goo. And so he's basically just spending his full action trying to spray at that Aerodonny. Okay. Next up, we have uh, Bagheera. All right. So I am uh, going to jump. Uh, remember, you're, you're glued. Oh, am I glued? Uh, yes, yeah, you're glued. You, you got, glued. Yeah. You got, glued. got your right rear leg and your torso, so oh, you're glued that's in place. Right. I'm not jumping anywhere. Yeah, that's, just, that's a minus 100 to, uh, to, on a strength roll to get they up. Just, they just goot they just goot on your hind parts. So how are people going to see my anus? They're going to they're well, going to miss out on the. Well, magic. you can flaunt it down the uh, down the the ramp. Oh, God, it's not where most people are. All right, so I'm going to shoot at. Uh, so I'm behind the rail. And I'm going to shoot at number three. Uh, Malcolm, what's his name? That's Sandra. Sandra. Oh, her. Sorry. It's hard to tell uh, with the uniforms. Yeah, 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 it's very confusing. But yeah, so uh, I'm going to do um, uh, a burst and reserve the rest of my actions for whatever kind of evasive action I can do while I'm glued to the railing. Yeah, basically, if somebody does melee, you can, you know, swipe at them. P- parry but, uh, them. Yeah. So, what range band would that be? So you're doing to three. Yeah. You are in range brackets, uh, just on in range bracket three. Three? Ooh, yep. Okay. All right. And you got some minuses because they do have partial, partial cover. There's a, they're at a minus uh, 45. Minus 45. Even if I just burst spray it all over the. All over the dining room table and the dining room. Yeah, I think about. Yeah, yeah, that. All right. Oh my God, this kitty needs to be stated. <laughs> Uh, well, that's going to be pretty tough. So I'm going to roll anyway, because who knows, I might get lucky. Uh, with a 70, I'm going to say not so lucky. Especially not for table three. Yeah, roll a, uh, roll a d12. I just want to see roughly where your spray lands. Uh, that's a five. So it lands short and to the right. doesn't hit anybody or any of the tables. Oh, thank God. Ugh. Plus, it's that glue on the torso that's making it uh, suck. So what I'm what I'm alluding to is that since you're uh, half glued and can't really dodge, it's totally worth either changing ammo or doing another combat action. I'm going to change my ammo uh, to something more uh, acidic. That's just what the dining table needs. <laughs> I came here for beef burger and you're going to get vaporized. <laughs> Look, Great. mistakes were made. <laughs> okay, now we get a string of... you for one. We, <laughs> we get a string of pirates. Pirate one is dead, so we can take him off the, uh, the roster there. Hi, pirate, pirate 10, who's got cover behind the uh, <coughs> shelf here. He launches a... Pirate 10? Is that yeah. Becky? Yeah, it's freaking Becky. Of course, it's Becky. He's launching a grenade uh, at. What? Who? Me and Marjorie? uh, You guys in the trench, actually. All of the people in the trench? She's really good. Um, We're a little spread out. Del Santo and uh, Hestu, where he sees two people together. Well, Hestu's Hestu's ducked down. Del Del Santo is ducked down. Well, he saw people move. Okay. All right. Yeah. Yeah. And he can't use his grenades on his teammates who are all clustered around the people. Still, it's got to be a hell of a throw. It's pretty far. It's, well, he's got a turbo plus grenade launcher. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Becky, uh, Becky oh, does I that. Me, <laughs> I do say, I foresee us with a new weapon. He's a shopper. <laughs> so, at that range. Oh, wrong guy. Ooh, misses horribly. <laughs> That's good. Yeah. <laughs> so it bounces off the wall behind you and lands right between tables, uh, t- you know, three and four here and explodes into a pile of goo. And then he ducks back down. 
Three and four? Uh, yeah. Crap. So, so I completely missed. Yeah, it basically hit the wall behind you and it bounced right in front. I was That's hoping okay. it hit Bellamy. Okay. Four, so five, Pirate uh, 10 uh, is missing. Sorry, I did that again. I didn't mean to. I, damn it. Damn it. <laughs> so let's go straight. There you go. I'm going to stop touching this. <laughs> Let just, just the tokens. <laughs> let me just make I, it small. I've told myself that so many times. <laughs> but it's so hard. That's Usually it is. Saying. That's kind of the point. Uh, oh, wait. Oh, yeah. He's already gone. Okay. So that was uh, that was Becky. Todd's already gone. Chip took off. Did you say Klaus Trip? Is, trip. It's probably like Douchebag the Third, so he just goes by Trip. <laughs> Part number two. Backs up. Chadwick? Chadwick. Are you running out of eccentric names yet? Nope. They just get names like that. They don't get good names. They get names. Okay. Chadwick also <laughs> failed his mental SMR and saw four Aerodani appear right in front of him, so he's backing the fuck up. Right move, Chadwick. Good. Uh, there are five of us here. I am manipulating your minds. And he is throwing a grenade. Jesus fucking Christ. Tonight... Tonight, Chris's dice are brought to you by Betrayal. <laughs> <laughs> or Matt. So, a, a grenade lands solidly on the, was this table nine here, uh, explodes in a shower of arcing electricity, shocking all the patrons at that table. Jesus. So are they Jesus awake now? Uh, they are still unconscious, but they uh, have taken some damage. So, I swear. Yeah. He's, he rolled so very, badly. Very, Robust combat. That's totally not cool. I swear that friendly fire apparently is very friendly here. Hmm. Pirate eight. Mental SMR. Randy. <laughs> also put off by the Aerodani. <laughs> These guys are rolling shit. Hey, this is this is actually what we needed. This is a fucking super helpful. <laughs> yeah. So he backs up. Um See. Wait! That was <laughs> silly! How did he become pookiness? However, he does How roll. How that pookiness? He does roll a really good attack with his grenade launcher to uh, these two Aerodani here. These two pseudo Aerodani. Mm -hmm. And a goo grenade explodes there, uh, trapping exactly nothing. D but they oh, don't so the way. Except for the patrons at table four. Does it, uh, does it by any chance hit uh, Pirate 3? Who's also it's not Pirate 3. <clears throat> does it hit Sandra? No, he, he hit uh, this guy right at the bottom dead on. Oh, so okay. basically bounce off the wall and just goose right at that table. Okay. Hey, Malcolm, who was hmm. number one? Uh, number one, that was that You was are Klaus number two. Before he died. <laughs> <laughs> I am not a number. I am a number. number information. And number nine. Give us Sorry, number information. Nine. Uh, that Klaus, was Klaus. Klaus is a K. That, that was a shout out to really old uh, fans of t television sci fi. Prisoner. Pirate 9. That also, also sounds like a British sci fi show. <laughs> Pirate 9. <laughs> Pirate 9 also fails his mental SMR. Yes! <laughs> God! I, I swear that Tony has the same uh, luck Pempleton does when he's not here. They do extremely well. <laughs> <laughs> I'm amazing when I'm not present. My, my character is amazing, I say, when I'm not here. So He just screams, where the fuck are, or did these guys come from? And just runs out between tables uh, 7 and 10. From your uh, worst nightmare. Okay. Fuck, it's going to be hard for me to shoot them. Pirate 3 goes to punch the uh, alien because he misses SMR as well. Sandra. <laughs> I mean, they have to roll 20 or below. So it's not a good number. And the closest I've gotten is 22. Uh, so he takes a swing and uh, misses. I mean, yeah. as far as he knows, he, he didn't hit the guy because he just missed the swing. So hard to believe that these guys are so good looking. Why? <laughs> <laughs> We cannot defeat them. <laughs> they're, so they're the Fabio of Eridani. <laughs> blowing mohawk. <laughs> Sunlight glinting off the plasma sword. They are based sword. on me. <laughs> Just 
much bigger so and next swing, better lighting. Anyway. He does a second swing. Uh, that also misses. <laughs> uh, next up, we have uh, Peppleton. Oh, I was uh, having a little uh, side, uh, little, little summer drink here of some gin and tonic while we were fighting. Uh, <laughs> a nice mint sorry. julep. <laughs> last men jewel up in a little cake, you know, one of the little sandwiches we make on the afternoon on hot summer days. And I'm, oh, looking upon this field of carnage. Well, God, there are a lot of Aridani out here. Anyway, um, how far is three from me? Uh, would you be range two? Uh, no, I think he's range three. So. Three? Okay. So that would give me a... He's right at the edge of uh, three and four, so he's still in three, though. Okay, I'll, then I'll take a pop at him. Uh, and he's only got uh, minus 15 to go. Good, good, because that three I got plus 55, so that's plus 40. So I will take a shot with him, and I will take a nice... Remember, it's your it's your, your shooting skill plus the, the number on yes. the range weapon. So. Yes, that's yes. the number on the range weapon is... Nice, what's that? Oh, yes, I know. It's uh, my, my shoot. It's uh, 55 plus... Uh, yeah, I got a hunt. What is it? No, 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 no. More than I two. Have I have 112 minus 15, so I got to roll under a 97. Uh, uh, your skill with the laser is 112? No, this is the sniper rifle. Sniper oh, okay. rifle is kinetic. So, um, yeah, what's your what's your kinetic skill? My kinetic skill is 57. So 57, 57 so okay, so yeah. Yeah, so yeah. So 57, 55. Um, 112 minus 15 is 97. Yeah, right? so you're, yeah, just don't roll your malfunction number with the gun. All right, That's about see. it. Ooh, 70 even. That's wow. it. That's uh, a hit. So 46. Location. No, lo oh, D6, no, right? First, first D6, yes. Okay. I rolled a four. So four is right arm. So I rolled a total of seven damage on four D6, so, which isn't really that great. Uh, so five gets through and takes care of his abliner. Okay, or your uh, rather absorption. So and then I have uh, another action. I can take another shot. Well, I will. That now one's at uh, so if you're same guy, it's, uh, it's just minus fifteen for the cover and minus twenty for the second attack in a round. That's fine. That'll be a uh, seventy-seven. I'll take it. Forty-two. That's right, so a hit. Hit location. It's a six. Six is right leg. Okay, fourteen total. 14 total, Jesus. It's okay. Yeah, I rolled two sevens on two D6s. So one and a six and a one and a six. So minus two, that gets me to 44 rounds. And let me hide. And that actually gets through. Ooh. Ooh that's going to hurt. Two C center. Let me roll my stuff in concealment. It's a 15. So I'm still concealed, sort of. You believe you're well hidden? I think I am. I rolled a 15. I was well under my uh, roll of 69. 69 is my agility roll, baby. Normally. Nice. For the uh, stealth. <laughs> yeah. Plus, I have a bonus I didn't add, but um, I should have added. But I'm uh, still under. It doesn't matter. Yeah, you should have added your shiftiness bonus. So now we have yes, it. Yes. <laughs> Super shifty. I say I'm not shifty. I'm a good fella. Pirate 4 with his 98 fails his mental SMR. <laughs> yes. Okay. Yes. Is that what and it he is? fires. I was uh, Sully before, so I got from the one. He fires his grenade at uh, the one closest to him, and misses. Mm. It explodes between the vents and uh, table five there, and it again is just a big ball of goo. Shit. Tangler grenade. Same stuff I have, right? Sort of similar. Yes. So my guy survived. He just has no leg. And Pirate 4 moves back and hops over the wall over here. Okay, Sully. No, he, your Pirate survived. Yeah, he just, he has an injury to his, his leg. It, it isn't, it just appears to be, uh, yeah, you know, a light wound. Wow, okay, good armor. Or something else. Wait, so Sully's running for the bridge? I mean, Pookie, whatever. What did you call him? Oh, God. <laughs> Pookiness. Uh, Pookiness, okay. Pookie's trying to get some range uh, between... <laughs> Him and the Aerodyne, the four Aerodyne or five Aerodyne that are right in front of him. And that brings us to Hestu. 
Um, so does Hestu see B- uh, Bagheera glued to the wall? Uh, probably from where you are, yes. Okay. Does he think that he could remove uh, he could remove her from the wall using his sonic knife? Oh, yes. You could totally do that. All right. Um, it would basically it would use all your actions to free the leg. However, the uh, leg is still bound to the torso. So but, it would uh, take like two turns to two turns to free her totally. Correct. I mean, I can still I can walk on three legs, right? Yeah. You've seen tripods. They're fine. It's <laughs> uh, my nickname. Oh, I'm, <laughs> I'm trying to wonder if <laughs> that was too Nathan, obvious. Not Bigger. Uh, yeah, we, we got it. So. Yeah. <laughs> we're, we're good. Yeah. Bigger is, is is what is she is B or or what what a uh, number what letter is B. Bigger? Uh, Bigger B. is B. Yeah. Yeah. All right, all right. Hestu will move over past Bagheera, uh hunker down and use his sonic knife to cut her to basically shave the armor off the glue you mean shave the glue no the shave armor? the armor shave the armor off the glue or shave the wall off because that that knife is designed to cut through uh, cut through metal oh I got gotcha. you yeah it's a tool it's not a weapon yeah oh I'm attached to the railing so it's probably better to just cut off the railing yeah then if, if that's faster I'll just cut the railing well your your leg would be uh, on the ground it's basically carpet uh, okay yeah whatever's the fat whatever's the fastest he'll cut through that I would go yeah, through the, play the carpet. Trim his yeah. carpet. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> give, give her carpet a nice grooming. Yeah, carpet. <laughs> wow. Okay. <laughs> hey. While you're down there, no. <laughs> remember she spreads disease. The goo gun gets a little longer. It's weird. <laughs> okay. Uh, so you said that's all his actions, right? Yeah, that's all you're going to be able to do. All right. Well, she's a much better fighter than he is, Thanks. and he knows that. So. They'll sing songs about your bravery. <laughs> wow, that's pretty dark. <laughs> I, I just I don't imagine things from an angry, wet, sticky kitty. I imagine. <laughs> God damn! I just imagine a lot of hissing. <laughs> Pirate Six yells, "Fuck this!" Drops a grenade and jumps into the elevator. God damn and it, starts, Marjorie! Starts jamming the button. Wait, wait. The oh, elevator's that's a perfect wait, shot. Wait, wait, wait. I have to. That's a kill I have zone to call right bullshit. there. No, no, no. You could throw a grenade at elevator. Next no, place. no, no, no. How is that elevator door open? No, he's going to the elevator, just jamming the button, trying to call the elevator. Oh, okay. Yeah. That makes more sense. Sorry. I'll help her. Lack of clarity on my part. <laughs> <laughs> I'll have Marjorie when I get there. Marjorie. So the uh, grenade does not go off yet. Which which grenade? The grenade he dropped. Uh, before going, or Marjorie dropped before hitting the, hitting the call button. Oh, so I. It was a lot cooler in her mind to drop the grenade and jump in the elevator, but the elevator's not there. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> shit, <laughs> shit, <laughs> guys. <laughs> so um, I had two moves left for defense. Can I just uh, you move can, the grenade away from me? You can kick it or dive back if you want. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna need the elevator, so I guess I'll kick it towards. Uh, let's see. Uh, I guess I can try and. Toss it towards uh, yes, Becky. Oops, Becky. So what do I need to do that? Throwing skill which, or something? Which one's Becky? Uh, ten. Uh, yeah. Becky's ten. Yeah, give me a, a throwing roll. Well, I'd say agility to pick it up and uh, throwing to throw it. Uh, eleven to pick it up. Oh, oh yeah, for Jesus. <laughs> and a fifty-five to throw it. Your throwing skill is sixty-five. Oh, nice. You hit them and it falls to their feet, but it doesn't explode yet. Yeah. They're looking st- stunned. That's Jesus good. Christ. What's That's... the fucking delay on this grenade? <laughs> well, remember, each combat round is one second. Uh, yeah, true. it's fine. It's so... fine. <laughs> Just like... <laughs> That's fair. And... Yeah. So that, did that take two my last two moves? Or... And everybody else was actually... Uh, that takes up your last moves, yes. Okay. Yeah. So everyone else was uh, using grenade launchers. They're the one that actually drew a grenade and dropped it. Okay, so that takes us to the end of that round and brings us back to Farouk, who... Well, I guess I'll have to just stop someone from using the elevator we need for the waking <laughs> passengers. <laughs> In case of emergency, do not use the elevator. Did you read the sign? No. Yeah, that's... Not good? So I would say right, right there. Right there is where fall. I want it, yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right, then I'll move up to Madrin and says, allow me to help. 
<laughs> so I will swing at Marjorie. Destroy uh, her. Uh, 35. That would be a hit. So. I'll hit her yeah, in the... D- hmm? Oh, yeah, I was say D6. Yes, and I'll hit her in the four. In the four is right arm. The one reaching out for the button? <laughs> yep. <laughs> uh, that'll be uh, nine points. Plasma sword. Plus it with a SI, of, SI damage of eight. So it completely ruins her armor. And mm-hmm. you said nine points. Mm-hmm. You smell the nice, lovely smell of burning flesh as you cut into her arm. Excellent. Has to likes it. <laughs> um, I'm going to need a hearing roll from Temp- uh, P- Pepleton. Sure. I will. I have sensors. Do they help? Not in this particular case. Okay, no problem. I will make a hearing roll. Uh, is it a alertness roll type of thing? Or? Yeah, if you have alertness, yeah, I can make that. All right, I will use alertness then. Any bonuses or minuses before I roll? Uh, in this particular case, no. Okay. No way, 86. I have a 50. Okay. I hear nothing. Okay. I'm still, my ears are still ringing from the <laughs> rifle. <laughs> the cow going off. <laughs> Okay, uh, Bubba, you are up next. Wait, I was only I only sliced her oh. once. I was going to slice oh. her again, and maybe a third time, and then use the last oh. one for defense. <laughs> you can do, yeah, you can do that. All right. Uh, uh, so it's it's uh, their skill. Then it's minus twenty for the second attack. Fifteen. Oh, that's a hit. <laughs> Hit her in with one. That's the head. Four. Uh, very good. Uh, for eight points. That's Mister Yeah. And the structural That damage, is right? for path. The elevator is for passenger. <laughs> <laughs> Tickets, please. <laughs> <laughs> so you, you said it was uh, how many points damage? Uh, eight. 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 Mm-hmm. So the head look. The helmet looks pretty useless. Breathe deep. The frying. The fly. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, I guess I'll do one more attack, and then I'll use the last one for defense. So. All right. This is minus how much now? Twenty. Now, no. Now it's minus forty because you get successive minus actions. Take more. Forty. Yeah. Okay. All right. Fourteen. Uh, that's that's a hit. <laughs> this is a really good hit. Okay. Uh, a four again. So I guess the right arm again. The right arm. Yep. And uh, not so much damage this time. Uh, only six. Well, six is actually plenty, so we're going to be rolling a crit here. And all of those are struct- eight structural integrity damage, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so the, uh, the armor's was already gone from the previous hit. Ooh, and crit time. The crit tables. Malcolm is like a, is like a, is like a, a like a critical role vampire for Chris this week. Just just sucking all the good luck. <laughs> <laughs> it will be mine, <laughs> and then I get blown up by a grenade. Don't worry, we'll so, so right arms. Let's roll a. It's a, a D10. Okay. Yeah. Well. Uh, nine. Nine. Right arm. Clean break. Ooh. Nice so I will, done. I will sever yeah. it off. Uh, <laughs> At the elbow, I guess. Pretty much. Yeah. Uh, it is for passenger. <laughs> <laughs> Can't push a button if you don't have a hand. <laughs> and they they have begun screaming because apparently uh, Farouk missed the dulcet tones of the screeches from the previous crit. <laughs> okay. I, will re- I will remind her during my defense how I stopped the screams before. It shall be repeated. <laughs> Even that just if, makes you scream more. Even if the, el- if, the, if the elevator doesn't come, she can't reach her button, the button with that hand anymore. <laughs> well, now she's doing the other, the other hand. <laughs> the stump. <laughs> and then I'll, yeah, I'll just stop and save the last one for defense. Okay. She might get Bubba. Is it? All right. Um, Bubba is going. He sees that a whole bunch of. Uh, he sees that the Eridani has cloned himself. And uh, his clones are surrounding three, so he's going to ignore three. So if I, he has a move of fifteen. If I spend an action moving, kind of um, moving to your limit is a free action. A free action. So yeah, you, you can just yeah. you can just go move to your limit. It's it's only if you try and sprint, which okay. is three times your run, uh, that uses up your full. Uh, 
So oh, if he ran towards that second table, diagonally north um, west from him, how far would a move of fifteen take him? Let's see, so five, ten, fifteen. That's uh, it's, you could get between the two tables because that's uh, that's like twenty. Okay. All right. So he is going to run over to here, try to kind of get some get down a little bit, like kind of run over and, and, and kind of hunker a little bit. And he's going to toss um, the That's- smoke grenade. Can he toss it like right? That depends. Can he? <laughs> well, in theory, could he toss so, it? Like right? Could gonna- he toss it kind of right over here? That depends on your role. Okay. Um, what is the so fun thing have, to do? Just trying to block the so these guys can come up and get close with them without um, getting yeah. shot. Yeah. All right. All right. So he has a throwing of seventy-one. All right, a thirty-eight, and rolling so you, much better tonight. You actually hit then. Which grenade? Are, you're throwing a smoke grenade. Smoke grenade. Yeah. Okay. So that actually is a good size for the uh, the starting the smoke. Okay. Um, so that was, let's see, I have four actions. I took one, or a free action to run. It was one action to throw. Yeah, because you already had it out. Yeah. Yep. Can I pull my shotgun and yeah. then shoot three? There's a quick draw penalty to do so. And from where you are... Three would not have cover, so you don't have to worry about that. What range increment am I from three? Uh, that, that range, uh, you are range, just at range bracket two. Two. All right. So normally my, let me see if I remember how to do this. My kinetic is 54. My range two is 30. So that's an 84. What's the uh, negative I have for the... Quick fire or whatever it's called. Oh, the fast draw. Up and up. Yeah. Uh, let me check that real quick. She a snapshot is a minus forty. Oh. Okay, so that'd be a forty-four percent chance. Um, you know what? I think he's gonna draw the shotgun and keep one for defense and not draw attention to himself. Because the guy seems to be pretty. He's like whacking away at the uh, one hey, of the clones. Okay. Yeah, Sandra seems to be into that. <laughs> yep, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna keep one for defense. Alrighty then, so we have that. Pirates 5 uh, has disappeared, so we go back to Mr. Kupo. Delisandro will move to maintain the illusion of <laughs> Eridani attacking <laughs> these pirates. Yeah, he's going to move in the trench. Uh, so I was wrong about his move and my move, actually. Uh, he's got a move of 7, um, so... He's got little yeah, legs. Yeah, he's got little legs. So what I'm, the heck? I'm just going to move him over here. Oh, that's what the heck. Okay. Uh, he's going to be ducking out. And remember, he does have his camouflage unit on his armor. Mm-hmm. So that gives, like, that's, a mi- I think, a minus 30 oh. to his ob- to observation checks against him. Yep. Um, so, yeah, he's going to duck and, duck and cover. He's going to move his legionary copies as well. Like, like so they're... Men, you know, like it looks like they're going after the pirates. Would you would you say that's a fair amount of movement for his guys? Yeah. Okay. Um, it's a con- I mean, what, what he's doing is a concentration, so he can't cast another spell, right? Correct. Five, ten. So can he fi- Can he fire a weapon? Uh, no. Okay. Cannot. Then he, that's all he'll do is just hunker down and uh, you know lie as low as possible and maintain the illusion. So that's about the limit for. Your twenty meter radius. Yeah. Okay. Where? Right where those four are. Yeah, that's what I just moved him to. Okay. Why did yeah. move this one back? Okay. Yeah. No, that's that's fine. He wants to give the illusion that the pi- that the Eridani are going after these pirates and scare them. All righty. Pirate seven. Seven is going to try his mental SMR again. And fails. Guys, I hate to tell you, like I'm really glad that he's doing this because <laughs> no, it's great. Yeah, so it's thing is, one of us would be dead by now. We still need to get the bridge because if yeah. they get that, they can they have. So he's launching a grenade at uh, this guy right here, the that illusory one, mm-hmm. and to his eyes, he misses, but uh, it explodes. 
Four o'clock. So table four just got a, a table full of goo. <laughs> and that's it for uh, Pirate 7. Bagheera, you are still being cut free, or but you have some degree of movement. What do you want to do? So can I, like, like actually move, or no? Uh, you can tripod. So I have a, I have a run of 20. What was that uh, do to me? We're going to make it a, a third of that. All right. So could I get to here, the tip of that arrow? Uh, you could get just shy of that, basically the other side of the wall. So I'd say okay. you could get basically right there. Man, of course I don't have cover now, but there's that cloud. Well, you have so, some cover. The table, the table counts as cover. Yeah, you got uh, as as do the people. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So basically, you get uh, minus fifteen bonus for each area of your body that's covered by something. Okay. And uh, number nine, Bellamy there, who's got some coverage behind the table. Am I still like a minus forty-five to hit them? Uh, minus thirty from where you are right now. All right, I'll risk it. Oh my god. <laughs> Why not? We need to stop. I mean, Go for it. Go for it. I, I switched to acid, so it should be fine. <laughs> he's, he's shooting acid at the table fuck. full of patrons. No. Did, did I just hear fuck? Did I hear <laughs> fuck? Yeah, I think so. 93. Oh. <laughs> so maybe he missed bad enough that he won't spray the page. So yeah, he right killed the people well, at the table right next to him. Goodbye. Let's go with the, the same D12 rule that we use for the grenades. Roll the D12, see where, <laughs> roughly where D12. your shot lands. You... Uh, uh, ten. Ten, so it lands behind him between tables uh, six and ten. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Okay, that's uh, one action. The get up. Uh, Try not to melt the window or the passenger. Oh, that would be a quick end to the fight. Yeah, I'm going to try again. <laughs> uh. <laughs> That's me here saying, fuck you. <laughs> oh, it's like, like, I, like I, I pound on my F cannon a few times, and I, I, I try, to, try to shoot you. It's like, come on. I didn't know it was a pump action. Aim straight. <laughs> So remember, there's so there's the the minus twenty from uh, your second act, your attack yeah. action. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, I rolled a sixty nine. Is that special? <laughs> <laughs> no. just, that just depends on where it lands. So, what range bra- band was I at? Sadness. So you are range bracket. If you're shooting at three or nine, rather, you're at range bracket three. Okay, so that's still a mess. Ah. Oh. <laughs> mm-hmm. Ellis. And D12. All right. Uh, eight. Eight, so it uh, goes short between table six and seven. Yep. Oh, Dead civilians. So, no, it's uh, just burning the car- basically the, the nice carpet to smell. Once nice carpet. Uh, yeah. I just yell out in rage. As long as it's not bunny bonkers, huh? <laughs> yeah, I think her rage is pretty high, too, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, crap. Uh, I, I, I changed it around, so it's, it's still high, but not super high. It's oh, higher okay. than my intelligence. Oh, okay. <laughs> so there's, there's still a chance, but it's not a very good chance. Oh, okay. But I don't think we've reached that point yet. Hmm. So we have Pirate 1 is dead, Pirate 10. Standing on that grenade. <laughs> and this is their grenade, right? Cause it yeah, this is, this is Marjorie's grenade. Yeah. It's a hit to the... Three. Left arm. So his left arm has been glued to the bar. <laughs> they are unhappy. Uh, they're going to try and pull themselves free. You who knew, they do not. Okay. That is all they can do. Pirate two. Bad Rick. Cool. Still fails his mental SMR, so he still thinks there's way too many Aradani, so he's going to make a break for the bridge. We need to just- we need to stop them for getting the bridge, guys. <laughs> There's important things up there. I hear. And from behind you. Ah, uh, Sacagawea. There's a clattering as one of the aliens um, what? comes scurrying down the hall. That's what I missed hearing. And <laughs> takes, takes a swipe. I, guess I should replicate one of these icons. Son of a bitch. I say, damn... Get away! You so fucking... concentrated on his shot, right? You're like looking down your scope. And I say, I hear this 
What is that noise? I said, oh, my goodness, look at this horror approaching me. If somebody's got a better icon for that, uh, feel free to add it. But uh, he's going to take a swipe at uh, face there. Let's see. Ooh, he misses. I say, away, creature, away. Second attack. Oh, that one hits. Curses. Curses. <laughs> Curses? <laughs> so I uh, hit uh, left leg. Okay. Let me get my character up. Pempleton, in my mind, is just transformed into Dudley D- or to, what's a no not Dudley D- right Dudley D- right's uh, arch nemesis uh, oh yeah 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 fuck what was his nemesis well it'll come to me so it's uh, 11 for the left leg so remember whatever your threshold is on your left leg subtract that from the 11 alright fuck I mean my threshold? Your, your threshold is, is doesn't take damage yeah. in this so how much was it uh, 11 total so what, what's so your threshold a, um, it's 6 Six so five gets through five you get five taken off your absorption in that yep. location. All right, no problem. Left leg, it's forty three now. Okay. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I told you. I listened to you, Chris. I put all my money into my armor. I'm like, I'm not gonna die that quick. That's a good call. <laughs> you said hey, buy armor, and I'm like, I'm buying armor. <laughs> Meanwhile, Bubba that has got a, a fucking egg show on his head. <laughs> yeah, all, each of you guys have got like four or six actions. I have two. I'm like, fuck this. I'm I'm going to get smeared if I don't get some armor. I'm, I'm a repairman. I only have two. <laughs> oh, so we're both in the same not, boat. Okay. Not that big. Yeah. <laughs> Del Santo has, uh, 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 has more actions than I thought. I love to put a grenade there. Yeah. Pirate Nine. Jesus, these guys are are buying the illusions. They're all simpletons. So there. Pirate Three. Pirate Three is freaking out, so he's going to go run towards uh, the, that elevator. Does he have a token? Pirate Three. He's he's next to the first elevator, not the second. Oh, Sandra. Yeah. God, dog. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking. Freaking Sandra. Malcolm doesn't. Uh, Understand Arabic numerals. He always knows the names. <laughs> this brings us to uh, Pimpleton. I say, you foul thing. How dare you touch my person? I shall send you to the nether regions, and I shoot him. <laughs> okay. Any minuses? Shouldn't be. Uh, any no, minuses. you're pretty at, you're, you're at point oh, blank I, range, I and this thing is, is big. So, all right. 40, and. Well, let me shoot the first. Let me give you a hit location. Five. Five is, uh, five is left leg. All right. 11 points for the first round. Just roll me a crit. I rolled you a crit. No, you're, yeah, you're going to roll a, a crit here. So that's left leg. So roll a d10. All right. Oh, it's right here. Stupid. Three. I have a three. Left thigh. Artery struck. Minus 25 agility. Lose two body points per round from bed luck. Nice. Oh. So you got a spurter. <laughs> you are dirty in my armor. What sort of savage creature are you? I'll take another round. Shot at him. Oh, 91. Uh, I do have like 120. Um, yeah, but, two, but still, yeah. it's 91. Yeah. Uh, so it's even with the minus 20, um, you, there's a bonus for his size class. Oh, yeah, that's so, true. That's right. So I rolled a so, three to hit. Okay, so three is your left arm. It's left arm. Five. Oh, another 11. Oh, Jesus. Cur- is that another oh. crit? That is another crit. Right. D10. 10 on a D10. Uh, Head explodes. D10 <laughs> is right hand shattered. Bullet <laughs> enters arm. <laughs> Bullet enters <laughs> arm. <laughs> uh. It's one less thing he attacked me with. Yeah. That's good. <laughs> Bullet enters arm, exits anus. <laughs> you now have to lose. lose. <laughs> One of them. I like an iron crown. But critical. Uh, Outstanding. Now that's my turn as I, uh, you know, look at this horror. So it screeches with rage, and uh, that gives us Pirate 4. The Pookie's getting out. No, Pirate 4 is going, What the fuck is that? And he launches a, a grenade at, at the hallway. When he misses. This is behind you, so a pile of goo explodes behind you down the hall. And that is all he can do. He has to reload. Has to. 
All right. Uh, Hestu is now freed Bagheera, so Hestu will fly forward, I guess. Let's see, I... Like a bird? Like a bug. Mm. Uh, he's got a fly of nine, so you think I can get about there? Yep. That wouldn't be a uh, problem. Number seven, that would be what, range bracket three, four? Actually, he's a, he's at range bracket three. He's right at the edge of range bracket three. Okay. So, yeah. And how, do I? And I does he have does he have cover? He has, uh, from your perspective, no cover. Well, maybe you're you're up in the air, right? Yeah, you're flying. He's, he's flying. Yeah, so he's got no cover from you at this angle. God damn it! Uh, might not be able to do it. I might have to just. I might just sprint this this round. He's not. He's not. Yeah, he doesn't have a really good range. I mean, yeah, I can't shoot. I can't shoot the one th the, the one distance weapon. Uh, the, well, can he fly up to about there on a sprint near that smoke, the edge yeah. of that smoke cloud? Oh, the, okay, I see where you are. Uh, yeah, because yeah, because he wants to get enveloped in that smoke cloud. Yeah, sprint is three times run. So okay. so yeah. that'll be uh, thirty six. He can move. Or three uh, three times your fly in this yeah. case, but yeah. All right, and yeah, he's he's not going to take an offensive action. Okay. Brings us to Pirate Six, who has uh, failed their panic roll and is now going their full distance <laughs> to get away from everybody that's causing them lots of pain. Can I just do I get like a you know conveyed attack or something? No, in this case, they're literally just trying to get away from you. So that would not be convenient for me. So. Yeah, I think it's an inconvenient. <laughs> I think she should get an inconvenient attack. I'm just saying. <laughs> Your 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 elevator's here. <laughs> ding ding. <laughs> I love them. <laughs> it's just right. the, the doors open and two unconscious pa passengers just fall out. Kick them back in. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, if they're blocking the door open, I'll leave them there and I'll. Go. <laughs> <laughs> the doors keep closing on them. <laughs> <laughs> it's a safety door passenger line. I think I gotta cut them in two. They'll be fine. <laughs> And I'll keep the door open for the rest of the passengers once they wake up. But they may be trampled. I'll figure it out later. Anyway. <laughs> that brings us um, around the corner back to Farouk. Well, you know, well, I can't move as she sprinted. I am not sprinting after her. But would I he get bonuses? Top. Yeah, I was saying, would he get bonuses for attacking six since they're partially stuck to the bar? Uh, you no, can. Zero. Um, ten. Oh, wing yeah. ten, yeah. Yeah. Uh, basically, they get limits on their uh, defensive actions, uh, so there's a plus 20 bonus. But. Okay. Well, I'm going to go, since I can't reach Marjorie, I'm going to get Becky, since I kept her out. Since she's, since I, basically, she's stuck there like a flavor saver, so there goes. Um, God. Where did uh, Tears Marker go? He's in the, the cloud. Oh, in the cloud. Okay. Uh, 25. 25 is definitely going to hit. Location's the five. Five is uh, left leg. Don't know how I pulled that off. Uh, and eight points. Damage plus uh, structural integrity. Damage of eight. Oh, so you bump up to their torso because the left leg is behind cover. And damage is eight. Mm -hmm. All right. But I'll swing again. This one will not do so well. This is an 88, so I think I may make a miss. That, that is a miss, yes. Yeah. Which will only make me angrier. <laughs> if I won't get angry, I will keep my emotions in check. And swing again. <laughs> ah, 27. 27, so even with a minus 40 at this point, yeah, you're, you're, that's a hit. It's going to be the torso. Okay. And... Yeah. Seven. Five gets through. Ooh, Okay, that uh, armor's looking pretty useless in the torso area at the moment. And I'll save one for defense in case someone gets grenade happy. Okay. Like Marjorie is running away. <laughs> Next up is Bubba. All right. Bubba sees three, and he uh, sees three running. He this is going to, to make a move. If he can just move, like, can he move that far as his free move? I mean, he's got a run of 15. Yeah, you can run 15 meters. To okay, so he's just going to get a good position, and then he is going to fire a um, a burst from his shotgun. I want to make sure. 
Is he in range increment two? Uh, that's in two, yeah. In two. Okay, so that he has a range of 50, 54. So there's a minus there's a minus forty. For what? For your sh- your shooting. Oh, because the you, burst. You, you ran and you burst. Oh, okay. So you've been, yeah. okay. Um, Wait, you're shooting oh, shoot. Sandra? Okay, so real quick, so if I three? started, so if I was back here, what would my that's range, range increment be? That's range bracket three. Three, so that's a minus 45. So it's, yeah, it's it's actually better. It is better to move, to move up, yes. Move. Benefits of shotguns. Ugh. Okay, all right, well, it'll shoot twice. You can do it. A, a burst. Uh, oh, thank God. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Son of a... 98... And my mishap is a 95. Ooh. <laughs> now we got a good chance to look at the malfunction numbers. Uh, Bubba is not having a good battle. <laughs> this game, neither is anybody else. I got all this, well, I, I got all this paint. All the, oh, all this goddamn paint's in the, in the slide. Gumming up my shotgun. Koopa, Koopa, say, Koopa Bubba, and Malcolm are, are carrying the team on that. <laughs> well, <laughs> that's the day. <laughs> I've had some good shots, but uh, oh yeah, you've well, had, had, had like what yeah. three criticals? No, I've had. Well, yeah, I have actually. I just haven't taken them down because they must have a lot of hit points. So roll a d one hundred. D one hundred. All right. Oh, son of a bitch! <laughs> that doesn't sound good. I I wish I could put the camera. Hold on, I'm going to pan. Don't knock your microphone the, down. Break the fourth wall. Slowly pan over to the dice. Is that, you guys read that? Is that, Did you roll is that a double lot? That's a freaking double <laughs> lot. Uh, <laughs> <damn it>. yeah. <laughs> yes. I am just oh, not Jesus just Christ. That, that, getting a that good roll really tonight. that really can't be good. No, it can't. You realize so, yeah, that the, the wall and that the I, ceiling is like glass. <laughs> I may be transparent I, still, but still. I suddenly realized this is or this is when he realized he'd loaded his nuclear shell by mistake. <laughs> this is what happens when you don't uh, do perform proper weapons maintenance. Is, uh, in this particular case, a D100 is um, in- inoperative for 16 combat rounds and energy cell explodes if you have an energy cell, which okay. this is a... Uh, well, in my memoirs, I will write of this event. It says, user <laughs> and weapon are damaged by explosion. In this case, uh, it doesn't explode because it's All just... Right. yeah. It's all gummed up from the paint. The, all right. Yeah. So that's that was a move, a free move, an attack. Yeah. But the burst costs how many half, actions? Half your action. So that was two. Can I just move up and kick him? <laughs> uh, you can't move any further. Okay. Um, At this point, you can shout. I'm, so so throw me. your shotgun at him. <laughs> yeah, I know. Part of it's like throw the shotgun at Actually, him. Actually, I was really thinking. Cast dissonant whispers. You have to answer me a character question. Would this be the kind of thing that would put you into a rage? You know, Funny, fucker. So we're not going to have to roll me. that. Probably. What would Granny Fop Bottom do? Yeah, the Granny Fop <laughs> Bottom. <God> damn, <laughs> shotgun didn't work. Stupid paint grenade. Guy said, oh, it'll work. This is just <laughs> like when the steel went up. I'm so angry. Okay. All right, what do I, I got to roll? You roll a D100 and roll under your uh, berserk. You roll above your berserk number if you want to avoid it. So right, how that's I, not happening. Wait, what's your berserk number again? Two. Uh, so it's my aggression. No, okay, so I have 99. to roll. Well, it's, <laughs> you're right, but my aggression is what 67, right? So. So let me go back to uh, to here. Berserk. You have to roll basically under. If you roll under 54, uh, you go berserk. <laughs> okay. okay. So, so two times tonight I'm going to do this oh, my because this is crazy. God, so can, how many times are we going to see you with your pants off? I know. <laughs> 50, I don't know if you guys can see. 50, 50, 55. Five. Oh, wow. One <laughs> so over. Just, wow. Just barely controlled. Right? <laughs> oh, my gosh. He's like, veins, his ears are twitching. He's like, I think Fox is vibrating. Literally. <laughs> Blood Stupid coming out of both nostrils. <laughs> Uh, what are the <laughs> rules for throwing a shotgun? <laughs> uh, you just make a throw and attack, and it would uh, cause Ooh. basically one damage. Oh, uh, one. All right. Well, 
He, yeah, he's going to make a throw attack with a guess, 71. Uh, it'd be actually 51 because your second attack. <laughs> so roll the 70. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ. Oh, oh, D6, yeah. just to see where it lands. <laughs> All right, D12. Uh, All right. Yeah, D12, uh, yeah. Of course, it's the one guy. God, I have errors. Errors. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Hey, you guys, you want to see my dice? <laughs> yeah, no. Oh, no, no. No, no, we don't want to see your dice. I got a four. What's that, four? Yeah. Okay, so now you're just over the gun, lands a, a little past him to the right, or to your left. <laughs> Almost hit Sean. <laughs> <laughs> That's All wonderful. Right, uh, I mean, you would have probably then, taken out the guy I'm fighting, but... Can he just spend his last action to pick up a chair? Yeah, I'll go with okay. that. Yeah. That's it. And we're gonna we're gonna just to let you know we're gonna start your next action with a berserk roll again. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's fair. I do feel. Oh, I, do feel gosh. I, do, I am kind of afraid for the unconscious <laughs> passengers, but we'll see on this guy. Okay. Actually, yeah. Let's see. Uh, Pirate Five is uh, gone. You don't know what he's doing, uh, Mr. Cupo. Yeah. Uh, Mr. Cupo. Yeah, Mr. Cupo. Uh, Del Santo. Del Santo. Del Santo. We'll sprint into the cloud. <laughs> uh. Yeah, he's it gonna, is away from the bug. Yeah, so good idea. Yeah, he's gonna use use his actions to sprint to move so he can move his go his ghost Eridani f- legion forward. We are truly the heroes of this fight. The Eridani <laughs> often are. <laughs> go even in ghost form. Yeah. Yeah. All right, Alessandro will continue to confuse the minds. <laughs> Del Santo, <laughs> not Alessandro. Alessandro. <laughs> I was like, it was Del Santo. I like, uh, I, such and such, Del Alessandro. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. I mean, they're both Italian, so. So slight, slight <laughs> error there. Sorry. Close enough. Right. Fixed in post. Pirate Seven uh, moves back, and he's going to try his event this tomorrow, and he fails that again. So he still sees advance here. The ghost error, Donnie. <laughs> run, Don, run, run, little man. Well, it would be terrifying. They're all like swords, <laughs> plasma swords, waving them around. So he just rolled uh, 100 with his Turbo Plus. Oh, Ooh, let's man. see. <laughs> let's see what the malfunction number on that guy is. Oh, there are going to be no civilians left when this is over. Uh, let Matt roll for it. Let Matt roll yeah, for it. Matt, yeah, let's roll the malfunction number. Let's see what yeah, he gets. Yeah. Okay, what is do. is that a D hundred? D one hundred, yeah. Alright, alright. Forty eight. See? Nice boring roll. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so as far as you guys are aware, it jams. Um so he's angry, but uh Alright, that's the American note. Yeah. That roll is jammed two rounds. Yeah, dice are being shit tonight. Okay. <laughs> Uh, well, except for Malcolm, well, except for except for Malcolm and Sean, yeah, 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 you've yeah. been doing okay. <laughs> yeah, let's scale it. Uh, Bagheera, it is your turn. So the cloud is kind of blocking my view of of the the pavilion, the the, the, the pirates. <laughs> and the uh, you can so see three. I, fine, I can see three. So I'm gonna head over towards the elevators. Uh, um. So I think what, what, now that you're not uh, hopping over the wall, you can have uh, basically three quarters of your movement. So I I run up and I'm gonna. Uh, what what range uh, band is Sandra at? That's next. Twenty twenty five. No, Maggie. Right. Yeah, three. Sandra so three. Twenty five. So they're right right at the edge of range bracket three, and they have no cover. So get Sandra D three. That's a five for me, so I needed to make a 64 or less. Uh, wish me luck, guys. You, you can do luck. it. You can do it. So, <laughs> I'm going to do a mat. <laughs> oh, oh, my God. <laughs> it could be good. This will be no. the eternal fight. Oh. No. It's not. I can't. Oh, oh my God. God. Oh, a double lot as well? The double lot. Jesus yeah. Christ. Oh, my gosh. Well, what okay. is happening tonight? <laughs> <laughs> well, I find it both of the main main hosts are taking most of the hits here. I think that's perfect. Holy I am kind shit. of I am kind of okay that I haven't <laughs> rolled for attack in, in this game. <laughs> I know. You haven't. Yeah, nobody's doing uh, well. Okay. Uh, well, 
to be fair, the pirates have had some good shots on the illusory uh, Eridani. <laughs> <laughs> so the MN, that's the malfunction number, right? Yep. Yes. S100 for the F cannon. <laughs> My God. Oh, so you, yeah, that's uh, so a rolled uh, D100. Jesus. Come on, two. Uh, 47. Well, uh, inoperable for two combat rounds. God so. damn it. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> That seems to be going around. Yeah. So, can I fire my uh, shoulder rockets? Yeah, it's a uh, minus 20, but yeah. At this point, what do you got to lose? Right. <laughs> <laughs> I, I probably should have fired the Structural first integrity of the ship. That's <laughs> a better, uh, he, he's, integrity. He's, he's aiming towards the central core. It should be fine. Come on, rolling the thing. Uh, 56, so that'll hit. Oh, minus 20? No, that won't hit. Right? Uh, so wait a minute. So I don't know what your skill, what your skill and the range of the weapon. Direct fires. So sixty nine would have uh, is so so yeah, uh, forty nine. I need a forty nine or less to hit. So forty nine was with your skill and the weapons range at that range bracket. And minus twenty. Yeah. Okay. So <laughs> elevator one is no longer operable. <laughs> <laughs> I will make evacuation. Rockets. Okay. Somebody comes by and puts one of the, one of those little yellow plastic triangles. Up. <laughs> Pirate one is dead. Pirate ten uh, is freaking out. Um, he's got a minus, but he's going to try and shoot. So he's got a minus to squirt uh, Aerodonti with his uh, gun. And Aerodonti has a defensive action left. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that just gives him a minus of the Erdani's, uh, a quarter of the Erdani's uh, skill. So that, uh, he misses horribly. He's going to take the minuses to go for a second. And misses horribly. Okay. <laughs> just, what is he firing? What is Becky firing? <laughs> uh, uh, they're firing a fluid gun as well. It's just goo all over uh, this just place. Goo. <laughs> You're basically, uh, it's a big old bukkake fest going on. <laughs> <laughs> That's the uh, name of this uh, episode. So, Romy, uh, somebody roll an intuition. Uh, okay. Bagheera. Um, <laughs> yeah, no, oh. Someone besides Bagheera roll an intuition. Oh, uh, uh, I, well, I, oh, I did not roll a good one. Uh, I rolled a 70. Let's see what my intuition is. We all roll? I have a 30. Yeah, you can all roll. Yeah, I rolled a 75. My intuition is no, 77. Yeah, I, I failed. Uh, 46. I missed mine by about 10. 66. I uh, missed mine by 10. I made mine by 2. Oh, there we go. I'm 84. Let's see see what Kubo gets here. Yeah. Kubo rolled a... Oh, oh, no, 59. Oh, shit, okay. I said rolled a 95. Uh, I'm finding out. Uh, Kubo's intuition? Yeah, half his... He should be pretty good. Oh, Um, yeah, he rolled a 59 and he has a 60. So he made it by one. Okay, so Kubo... No, you you made it uh, as well. So Kubo and Fruit... Half my yeah. intuition, right? No, I didn't. Yeah. You make it, so Kupo notices that uh, they're using, the fires are using non lethal re- yeah. ammunition. <laughs> yeah, I realize the, that. I everything realize you've that. seen that has been fired has been non lethal. Mm-hmm. What's up? Well, not safe. That kid just snaps of sudden death. Yeah, they had a poison gas canister, which is what I can't figure out. <laughs> right. That's throwing me off, too, because I've noticed that they haven't pulled and fired anything lethal. But they did have a poison but, gas cannon. Yeah. We'll talk about that after. <laughs> we're we're in too deep now. They're <laughs> between me and a payday, so hey, no, I'm no, not you're, using <laughs> your sloppy firing against <laughs> amongst civilians is between you and your payday. They're amazing at dodging my attacks. So <laughs> kudos on their skill. Well, they. They are don't they want to see your anus. So are they? Are there. they actually there, or are they just illusionary Ar- Aridani for you? That's. Like- <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so Pirate Two misses his uh, mental SMR again. <laughs> so he looks oh, it out to the bridge. That's it. Well, we're hurting them. So. And the. The alien, most important room on the ship. The alien yeah. currently only has uh, one usable arm. Takes a swipe at Sean. Of course. Jesus fucking Christ, they can't. <laughs> he rolled an 88. <laughs> I say you are, you've stopped bleeding upon me and withdraw. <laughs> you have lost this challenge, creature. 
Well, he's full on berserk, so he's gonna keep. Oh, uh, fuck. Yeah. All right. So he gets another attack. I need uh, misses that one too. You and your bloody stuff. Oh, more blood upon my kind. Oh, what is wrong with you, you <laughs> creature? You're worse than the fart. Hello. Do you wear your suit outside your armor? No, <laughs> no, no. It's painted. He has his paint like his armor. Yeah, it's painted on the armor. I have very stylish. I have high class tendencies, my friends. I must look appropriate in all settings. All right. Eight runs. Seven. Nine runs. Pirate three. He actually passes his mental SMR. What? Oh my god. Who's that? The guy, the guy who's dying on his Bellamy? feet. Bellamy? Makes him. <laughs> Freaking Bellamy. Pirate three's no, no, he's Sandra. injured. He's not, he's not like, so oh, he's, not, he's not dying yet. Oh, Pirate oh, okay. three. He is injured, but uh, he's not dying. So Sandra made her psychic thing. Okay. Fuck. He just shouts out, hey! Those are on ear fake. Not helping him. He has to die. Yeah. You know what? Becky disagrees. <laughs> Boy, he hasn't pieced that together yet. You know, I don't think you need to to slander his character. <laughs> well, excuse me, sir. So that just uh, the way I'm working it is that's just going to give them a bonus for their future me- mentalist march X is not going to take them away. Okay. Because they did see one of their friends get cut up by one of the other Ardani, so they don't want to take any chances. They're going to see a second one if I get to pull this off. <laughs> <laughs> and the fact that he's projecting the images directly in their brains. Yeah. Uh, so that takes us to Sean. Hmm. Who's at the top of the order? Uh, top of the order is Farouk. Okay, cool, because it's I was looking at the time. I shall try and put this, put this creature down in front of me out of pity for it, because it is in such pain. I rolled a 79. That'll hit. Well, let me roll damage. Sorry. Uh, roll hit first. Where six. you hit first? Six. Hit six is right leg. God, didn't I already hit it in the right leg? Oh, well. uh, you hit right arm. Eight and six. Fourteen. And how do you kill it? You want? You can roll the crit for the arm or the leg, rather, or you can just uh, describe <laughs> how you you killed it. <sighs> I gently put the barrel up to the leg and say. Just go to sleep. And I pull the trigger, <laughs> blowing its artery <laughs> and pretty much evacuating its whole in, in internal cavity of its body out its anus. And uh, it just, the, the vacuum for blowing it just sucks all the fucking shit out of them. And then I spin the rifle around real quick and fire at number three. Mm. Oh, nice. Nice Dancing. play. Uh, there's a, a minus uh, 20 to that. And he does have partial cover, so it's uh, another uh, minus 30, so minus I'm, 50 total. Oh, might be close. So what range is he? Is he in range 2 or 3? Uh, he's in range 2 to you. He's okay, right good. at the end that's, of range 2. That's po- important. So I'm at minus how much? You're minus 50. 50. I get, so I get plus 10. I might have missed. Yes, I missed by 3. I oh, damn. 70, I needed a 67, so I miss him. Okay. I'm around business by his head. I said, that ain't no damn illusion there, sir. Now I'm bound to 42 rounds. Right. The round hits uh, right by uh, pirate, railing right by Pirate 8. Okay. Pirate 4 hit, gets the door and finds that it has been barred from the other side. <laughs> <laughs> There's oh, an army God. of Eridani out there. That's, that's what friends that's are terrible. for. <laughs> they don't have party loyalty at all. It's about survival. So, well, he's he's full on panicked. Um, and let's see, that brings us to Hestu. All right, uh, Hestu. Now, can Hestu see seven and nine, or just like what's what is his penalty to see he, those guys? Uh, it's minus thirty from where you are, okay. and so your range bracket three for them, uh, four for seven. It's right Wait. on the edge. The Todd and Bellamy are hiding between the tables, or are they just running? Uh, they're they're running for the entrance, the egg, okay, uh, exit okay, there. Right. So you just can't see them because of the clouds. Okay, yeah, cool. we can see them. It's just he's looking through the clouds, so he has the minus. Purple hey. So where it says ramp down that that uh, that area, would it, if I flew over to that, would I would I get again get that partial cover? If you went down to the ramp, uh, you'd get minus fifteen partial cover. Because you're not as down below down as you were down lower because it's a ramp. So okay, yeah. I'm just looking to where he can get the best cover. 
Um, let's see. What's your your flight distance? You're sprinting, I guess. Fl- flight is nine. I can sprint thirty six. Yeah, you could get opposite table thirteen, and you'd get cover there um, up to forty five. All right, that's what I'll do. I right, let but me get keep, to- in, keep in mind they they still get to move again, so that cover might go down. Is all. Oh yeah. Depending on how they move, what they do. But that's your best shot for where they are right now. If you go to between the P and the D, odds are uh, that keeps your cover situation from where the others have been moving. Chris, is it? Can you only move once in a round? Yes. So you, right. you can. You, it's since move is a free action, you can move up to your limit in that round. So if you haven't moved your full, you know, movability, you can still move in the round. Could could he pop out of the cloud? Shoot and then pop back into the cloud. Yeah, as long as, if he's not using his full motion, he can do that. Oh, well, that's actually pretty good. Yeah, it is. Uh, yes, it I is. just don't know what you can do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Fly so, out of the so cloud. I, so, shoot so I could, I could, I could pop out of the cloud. Um, shoot number nine, and I believe I'm at range bracket two. That's, there, that'd be range bracket two. Yes, for both of them. Okay. All right. Yeah, he'll take a shot with. He'll take a shot. At uh, which one? Um, Melanie. Number I either is either one of them hurt? No, none of them are hurt. No, just Todd just pisses pants. Yeah, then I'll shoot the closest one. I guess that's number uh number nine. All right. Which I think is Bellamy. Okay. It's Bellamy. Yep. Uh yep, that'll hit sixty-three. And location. This is a single shot, so I I guess I roll a D six through Yep. Number five. Number five is uh, left leg. Left leg. And that's four points of thunder damage, so that ignores threshold. Wait, is it the thunder gun again? Yes, it's the yep. thunder gun. It's going to wake every <laughs> one of these passengers. Yeah, it's okay. And that was four points? Thunder that was four guy. points. Yep. Okay. And he's going to use the second action to attack. Nathan, you're going to use the thunder machine. He'll, he'll, he'll take the minus 20. Yeah, that'll make it. Okay. Uh, and that is to the one head, and that is going to be <sighs> shit. One point of damage. Ah, that's disappointed. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, it's, it, when, you roll, two, a, when yeah. you roll a one d eight, that's what happens. <laughs> yeah, it's true. Two loud booms, and this guy now has a headache. And and then he'll fly back in the cloud. Okay, and it gives us pirate six, who is bleeding profusely. Yeah. Goes to, to stagger against a pirate four, bleeding all over pirate four for the door. And Sean, if you would roll me another awareness roll. Oh god. Oh crap. Oh wait, there's more. Alertness. Yeah, there's fifty yeah. of them coming up behind him probably. We gotta block this door so I start feeding right, in the alertness. passengers. Here we go. Let's hold still. Another eighty. Apparently I'm not that alert. It's the same roll I rolled last time, by the way, I believe. There can't okay. possibly be any more aliens coming down this There's hallway. No, this I should big turn giant my thing back. I just killed has to be the last one. It had to be the ultimate. Oh, there's a bigger one coming, I think. I hear something. Alien square. <laughs> this is where I'll remind Sean that the party last week ignored the, this room with a small number of bodies in it in favor of the room with a big number of bodies in it. This is the alien room. Which Look, I'm, this, gonna, this, I'm this apparently going to fight all by myself. This is one-stop shopping. We're getting them all here. We don't have to go to two locations. <laughs> <laughs> oh God, that's fucking hilarious! I'm gonna say, <laughs> I say my uh, my gentle folk. I have 55 aliens coming running up the hallway to me. I will try and, of course, uh, fight them myself. But I don't know anything. I'm gonna see if the oh, pirate notices the line. No, pirates miss it too. Okay. Fucking <laughs> fucking amazing. The air down of your face with the giant <laughs> murderous space creatures. <laughs> and this is where it's going to pay off that I bought that really good armor. <laughs> <laughs> is this the bottom of the round? Yeah, that's the end of the round. All right, God damn, it's hilarious. Picture. Okay, okay. <laughs> Fuck, well, I'm going to get fine. mauled in the next, <laughs> next adventure. Everybody's going to be like, what happened to, what happened to Pempleton? Why is your armor so scarred up? <laughs> Do not worry, my mental projections will save you. Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck you, you goddamn fern. You know, there's a chance, you know. They could actually, the bugs could start attacking the, the, the Iridani projections. You know, you know, there actually is a, yeah. 
That's true. Well, you know, the funny thing is, is uh, Farouk, what's he's going to do? He's going to fucking take his suit off and go into a corner and play like he's a piece of shrubbery. They'll never find me. I am too smart. Well, the, they won't attack <laughs> the uh, the illusions because the illusions aren't cast into their minds at the moment. The illusions are only That's cast true. into the pirates' minds. Uh, That's true. true. It's true. You will need to move that, change that, or something. But that's for another time, I suppose. <laughs> yeah, it is. yeah, and remember, Koopa will be back next week, so... So, no, it's it's all good to help, yeah. <laughs> I drop this the illusions gonna... immediately, <laughs> and, uh... <laughs> hey, guys, you think this is well, a good idea? I cast Fairy Fire on myself. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thunderclap. And I have to say, I, I like that, how, how, uh, how, what's his name, um... Uh, I have to get the Hestu is is pulling a rain and like fl- flying around and then <laughs> shooting and going back yeah, in the clouds. Right. It is, it is, it is. At is. least I can like reuse those sound effects. So. I don't know, yeah. much can. <laughs> and I'm the uh, stealthy character, and these things keep walking right up on me. Hey, look at this guy right here shooting his back. To oh us. my god! <laughs> <laughs> but I think we're gonna wrap up. For yes, we are. Yeah. Tonight? That's a good wrap yeah. up for tonight. I'm, I'm not. I'm not used to playing a support character, so this is. <laughs> <laughs> it's good. I, I'm. I'm not used to playing somebody that's completely ineffective. So this is. This is <laughs> you know what? You, wait, you're not used to that. The balance. The balance will. Res- <laughs> the balance will change. Yes, the, the balance. The balance. The balance. The and and the next balance. week you're yeah. just going to tear you, them next apart. Next week. And you expect nothing from me. Right. I mean, I, 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 that's <laughs> good. That, I mean, I love having two double out rolls. And, oh my god! Oh, it's, it's unbelievable. The rolls were shit for the yeah. for the pirates as well. It was it was obscene. <laughs> Comedy I, errors. I think we would have been a, in a lot worse trouble. If, if they weren't shooting at fucking the Erdani army. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. They were hitting them. They were like, nailing them. <laughs> and, of course, Matt's character Why would they die? did nothing. Absolutely. No. He actually no. he was actually a force to track He actually made things worse for us. Well, yeah. I gave Hestu his cover. Amazing. Hestu and um, uh, yeah. Santos have the... Uh, uh, like the smoke. have cover from the smoke. Yeah. If the if the paint had worked, it would have been great. It would have blinded them, and then because he's a he's a melee guy also. So the smoke and the paint are meant to be able to close. Yeah. And then chainsaw people, right? So. Well, but uh, <laughs> could have, yeah, would have, should have, didn't. I know. Jeez. Let's try. Yeah. Don't worry. The door to the well, bridge is locked, right. so there's still time. Which oh, is awesome. I, I, we I just have to say, if they all get stuck. And they can't get out, and they surrender. But I fail my berserk check. It's not going to be pretty. <laughs> <laughs> I do have, I do have two grenades left. And that door, that door is going to be barred shut, and they're just going to be scrambling. <laughs> well, guys, we still have bugs. Just it's really Darth Vader in kid. the end of a Rogue One. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, just mowing down the fucking. <laughs> <laughs> well, you, you on the ceiling, now on the floor. Back on the ceiling, on the floor. Well, both both six and four oh, have shit. have failed their panic checks, so they're just freaking out. <laughs> just trying to try to get push their way through the door. I, I can imagine <laughs> the minute that he fails that, the helmet is just gonna blow off his head. <laughs> oh, I love this. I love this. I know. I was gonna have him start to get mad because he's gonna, he's gonna tell Farouk like. Stop chopping all their helmets off. I need a helmet. <laughs> <laughs> Good point. Just cut him oh, in the God. dick. Jesus. He's, he's gonna be wearing. He's gonna be wearing the fucking punch bowl. <laughs> what do you guys think about this? It's got a hole in it and everything. This doesn't have. You know, it doesn't have ear spots, but I'll make it work. Well, enough duct tape. It's fine. That's right. <laughs> oh God. Right. I, I I do love. Uh, I, I do love that his helmet is held is held together with space duct tape. Yes, it's very fitting. <laughs>